Hi everybody, happy December, Merry Christmas, very excited. Uh, I love Christmas and I love whiskey and we're getting started on the whiskey advent calendar. Uh, had a lot of fun putting this together for everybody. I hope you enjoy everything and let's, let's get going here. If you want to taste it before you know what the bottle is, then start drinking now because I'm about to reveal what the bottle for December 1 is. So on the first day of the Whiskey Advent Calendar, we are drinking Buffalo Trace. Come all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. Come ye, come ye to Bethlehem. Come Buffalo Trace, this is a Kentucky straight bourbon. We don't know how old it is. It's a batched product from the Buffalo Trace distillery. Uh, and what that means is uh, that they mix a lot of barrels together to try to have uh, batched whiskey and a consistent flavor profile for every batch. So they're trying when they're mixing this whiskey together to get uh, a consistent good taste in uh, bourbon profile uh, year after year with every batch they make so you can buy bottle after bottle and you know exactly what you're going to be tasting So let's open this son of a gun Oh, let's see if we get a good cork pop Oh, yeah, so I'm gonna be having about an ounce of in these And all you folks are gonna be having a little bit more than that closer to an ounce and a half All right in the old Glen Karen perfect Get a little swirl, let it settle a little bit. So Buffalo Trace, this is a crowd pleaser. Um, it's usually pretty sweet. Uh, Buffalo Trace is pretty famous for, you know, Pappy Van Winkle and uh, George T. Stagg and all those really high-end uh, bourbons that you can't really get anywhere. Um, this bottle right here, it's really their entry level. Um, I'd say it's bottom shelf, although it's not their most bottom shelf. That distinction goes to a bourbon called Ancient Age, which I would steer clear of if I were you. Uh, and you could pick this up in most places for about 25 bucks or so. It It's sold in most grocery stores and liquor stores, but it can be hard to find there sometimes. It's kind of hit or miss. People make big runs on this stuff just because of the name. Um, in Washington, it's a lot easier to find than uh, in a lot of other states, though, so you can usually find this in the store if you're looking for it. Okay, let's see how she does. So it's sweet on the nose. I get a lot of, with Buffalo Trace products, like a grape nose, like a grape smell, almost like grape soda or something like that. Um, obviously, it's whiskey, it's bourbon, but it's just got that note to it that's grapey to me, and I usually get that when I taste it, too. Yeah, sweet, almost like grape-like. Um, you know, a lot of bourbons, you get a bit of a cherry note, um, but depending on, you know, the mix of, you know, the rye in there, the yeast they use, how old it is, how much the oak influences it, sometimes it could turn it into different things. And with a lot of these Buffalo Trace products, especially Buffalo Trace itself, you know, I end up getting this grape note on it. I like it, it's easy to drink, sweet, not super complex. Um, I don't really get a long finish on it either. It's just a really easy sipper, like I said, crowd pleaser. Um, so I like this one a lot. And if you like this and you grab a bottle and then you wanna step it up and see, okay, what's next? What's better? What should I get if I like this and I wanna take things up a notch or two? I think the next thing on the list would be Eagle Rare. Um, we're not having any other Buffalo Trace products in uh, this advent calendar. It just didn't work out with some of the rarity of some of these things and some of the prices on them. This one almost made the list though. This particular bottle is a store pick from a liquor store around here that I like to frequent a lot and I like their picks. Um, but the standard Eagle Rare is really good stuff. It doesn't say single barrel on it, but rumor has it every bottle of Eagle Rare is from a single barrel of bourbon but they can't call it a single barrel because they don't clean the lines between filling each barrel. So there's a little bit from other barrels in there. I don't know if that's true, but if it is, I think it's pretty cool. Um, 
Another cool thing about Eagle Rare that they don't really tell you on the front or anywhere, but if you look closely on the back, this is a 10 year old bourbon that you can get usually for like 36 bucks or so unless it gets marked up. So again, if you like Buffalo Trace, you will like Eagle Rare. I love this stuff. Um, the next stuff, step up from this is a bourbon called Colonel E.H. Taylor. It has a yellow label, usually comes in a tube. Fantastic stuff, it's all bottled in bond. Um, the small batch is the most basic of that product. If you find it for like under 60 bucks, definitely recommend you get it. It's fantastic, follows the same flavor profile of these two bottles, um, which are made with the same recipe um, at Buffalo Trace. Um, as is this next bottle, just a step up, a lot harder to find. But if you want some hardcore, smack you in the face, barrel proof stuff, you wanna find Stag Junior. Uh, you wanna to try to get one of those. Again, kinda of tough to find, really good. It'll knock your socks off if you get it. And these are all made, along with Colonel E.H. Taylor, from Buffalo Trace's Mash Bill One. They're, they're primary corn heavy, light on rye recipe. But if you wanna dally with their other Mash Bill, higher rye stuff, you're gonna have a harder time. Um, but if you really look hard, you could find blends. Coveted, special, holy fucking shit, rare Blantons, oh my gosh. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of Blantons. Um, I like it, I, there's just not a whole lot to it. I don't really get what the hype's about. Another Mash Bill 2 product, if you wanna try a higher eye Buffalo Trace, is this Elmer T. Lee. Also really hard to find. Um, I've not had much of this, but so far I do prefer it to the Blantons. It's also a single barrel product, about 90 proof. It's funny to mention, uh, Buffalo Trace, also 90 proof, so 45% ABV. Nothing too crazy, um, but a good amount to, to get you started on the money. And if you wanna dive into the weeded mash bill um, that Buffalo Trace has, so uh, instead of using rye for the flavor grain, the secondary ingredient to corn, they use wheat, you wanna look at the Weller products. Um, these are really hard to find in Washington State. Um, I've only ever found two, and they're both sitting in my house right now, uh, so Good luck, but they're really good, particularly this one right here, which is the 107 uh, proof one. So that's that's that. Uh, day one, Buffalo Trace. Hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to shoot me a text or leave a comment if you have anything to say or any questions. Um, I yeah, this is this has been nice. See you tomorrow.